believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! It does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find you Stucky want to, die, to get the key and get out as soon worse. as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans listen. always did. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. 
Not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while, see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Damn. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. goes to that shed over there. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. old generator had been connected to the power cable. I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here, 